Hey, what is going on guys? Zillner and welcome back to another episode of Factions here on Cosmic PvP. IP will be down in the description box below. Of course guys, as per usual, we're just going to be jumping into today's episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We have a very heated, or I guess not heated, but a very, I guess, uh, informational? Is that the word? I guess like a very intense episode uh, for you all today with the discussion between uh, the three faction leaders. So we'll see you guys in today's episode. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So currently I am joined by the two owners of the faction Pandorum and Pandora, Mr. Drop Me Pliz and Mr. N Portals. How are you both doing today? Good, good. Oh, I was like, you guys had to talk? Drop like? smells funny. <laughs> Drop smells funny. Alrighty, alrighty. So, okay. you guys are here today with me to sort of discuss some of the issues that have been going on between our factions. Now, I had a discussion with some of, I guess, the moderators and uh, members um, of, like, each of uh, both of your factions, along with, I believe, the faction Aurora. I believe that was two days ago. But I found out, or I thought about it, and I figured that it would probably be a good idea to actually have the discussion between us three, as we are the owners of, well, this, like, giant mega base. So, and you've sort of, well, I guess, like, one of the, I guess, the quote-unquote offenders is in your faction. Um, you know, military who's being accused of, like, leaking cords, etc. What are your yeah. thoughts on it, dude? Well, you see, military and... We got evidence of him leaking cords. Me and Drop have been talking about it all day. He sent me screenshots. We've been doing this during school. Sorry, teachers, if you're listening. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we got some screenshots of him threatening to leak cords. And then also Slay sent me a screenshot of him actually giving the, like, legit cords out. Of military and... giving the cords out? Yeah. So oh, whoa. We instantly demoted him, so he's no longer a mod in our faction. Okay. He no longer has access to anything. I mean, he's just AFKing right now. Just, <laughs> just, just, there. Just, just, just somewhere over there. Okay. Yeah, somewhere over there. And, yeah, we've kind of just... Anyone who's gotten, like, sketchy from this mega base stuff, we've basically demoted, had chats with them, so our only mods right now are just... Dex Everyone's sort and, of on ease right now? Yeah. Or, like, on edge, sorry. Everyone's kind of on edge about the whole thing? Because right now, like, yeah, I really yeah. don't know who to trust, you know? It's kind of... <clears throat> it's kind of difficult... Um, just like, I like, I never really expected military to do something like that, to be honest, because we actually had the conversation, um, two days ago and he said that, you know, like everyone was willing to work it out. Now drop, uh, $10 straights actually sent it, uh, sent the screenshot to me. Do you know what went down to cause him to actually say that? Cause I could, I didn't read too much, uh, too much into it, but do you know like what caused military to say what he said in the, the ally chat? Yeah, he got killed in an AFK pool, and he blamed it on my faction members just because he said you can't trust anyone. But it was one of their that faction members. Yeah, it was one of their faction members. I accidentally members. lightninged him. I was trying to lightning. <laughs> you I was trying to lightning <laughs> some of my junk gear, and it killed him when I lightened my junk gear. Are you serious? End. Oh no, I'm my not gosh! To, to, like in my honest opinion, though, uh, military mentioned this uh, yesterday or two days ago as well. Just sort of how, about how you sort of can't trust anyone in factions. Now, I mean, I agree with that to a certain extent, but you know, like, I mean, are you? It's tactical. It oh. does nothing. Okay, okay, okay. But anyways, <laughs> like to a certain extent, though. Like, I trust you guys, like, you guys being the owners of, um, of these two factions, like, I don't think you guys would obviously do anything, especially considering you both put in, like, work to this base as well, it would just be We're completely- We're not just gonna screw it over. Yeah, it would be completely stupid to actually just destroy it, like, it would- it would literally be completely ridiculous. <clears throat> so, what, I guess, like, what measures are we gonna take to, I guess, sort of eradicating, like, all potential insiders? Because, obviously, you know, I don't want to go through two weeks of building a giant base, you know? Because that's just... It's kind of a pain, you got, you got like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, like, we'll need... That. And we need, like, we'll need, like, I guess, like, an area to grind, you know? Say, like, the insiding goes down. Now, obviously, there are some glitches on the server that you can abuse, but uh, we've taken uh, measures, uh, we've taken precautions to that, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay, Pretty so that likely. is set up. A lot of our allies right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're not even sure if we trust some of our allies. I actually did, um, I guess, neutral one of our allies, and uh, just because they had some issues with you, correct? And Noob's Army? Was uh, that right? Yeah, they kind of started betraying us with one of our other allies, and 
we raided their derp and yeah <laughs> i see i see and then also a lot of hackers have been found out within i guess our our whole truces allies etc so we're sort of i guess what Militarian said to a certain extent, like, you know, like, you can't really trust too many people. I feel as if that goes, uh, that goes, you know, like, without a doubt. Except, like, the only exception would be between our three factions. I think that that's where the trust needs to be sort of, I guess, like, held tight, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, definitely, because us three, we need to stick together to keep this base alive. Yeah, this, this, this people are going rogue. Yeah, a lot this of baby. Mem yeah, members in our factions have... Like having gold rogue now, my members aren't too active. You know, get circle. I mean, I, I trust him so uh, pretty well. I don't. I don't think he'll be doing anything. He's. Uh, he's yeah, been. Why doesn't napkin play? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't actually seen him on. I probably will have a conversation with him to have him give me a ownership of the faction. Uh, fairly soon. <laughs> but uh, that is. Uh, I think me and uh, some other guy were talking about that. One of the other allies. Yeah, that, that's probably. Because you, you play on here. So. Yeah, that'll be a matter for uh, for I guess like a later time. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we've just finished having this conversation with Mr. Drop and Mr. N Portals. Now, hopefully, hopefully some of, I guess, the members uh, of, uh, I guess, the respective factions were able to actually watch this video. And I guess, take something from it. Because I feel as if, if either of us, you know, if any of us find someone to, I guess be a potential risk, a potential insider to this base, they will be, I guess, kicked, demodded, killed, you know? Damn, that sounds kind of, sounds kind of crazy, you know? <laughs> but, you know, you guys, uh, you guys know uh, what we mean by that. So that's gonna be sort of how the whole thing will be set up. We will most likely be, uh, I guess, like, eradicating any, like, potential threats to our base because, you know, it, it's just, you know, we, we gotta trust each other, you know? You know? That, that's sort of what we have to set up. But uh, anyways, I mm -hmm. believe that this we was... We were talking in the ally oh, what's up? chat. You were talking we were in the talking ally, chat? ally chat the other day. We uh -huh. had a huge group chat with all the allies mods and stuff. Yeah. And we were talking about the stuff how we need to trust each other because we're in the same base. Yeah, so exactly. So we really do have to trust each other more than a normal ally would. Exactly, exactly. Alrighty. Well, that will be concluding our conversation. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining me. Like I said, hopefully... Uh, members of uh, all of our respective factions will be taking, uh, I guess, like a watch to this video, like listening to it, and I guess, you know, listening to uh, what we have to say. We need to trust each other since we all live in this space and our allies too. If we find you hacking, we will, uh, we will enemy you. So, you know, I, I suggest, you know, the hacking ceases to, uh, ceases to an end and all of, I guess, all of the potential mistrust, uh, that ends as well. But anyways... Thanks for having this conversation with me, boys. I will see you all another time. Have a good day. Yeah. All right, guys. So I have a Spawn King Iron Golem in my hand right now. We are joined by Drop once again, along with Told Drum Easy. What we're going to do, we're going to spawn this in, guys. Get a unique crate, assuming we kill it, which uh, obviously we're going to kill it. And uh, see what luck we get from it. Here we go. I'm spawning it in three, two, one. Yo, there we go. We can hit it now. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, drop this. Should be able to just... Uh, oh, wow. Spawning it in a cave makes killing it so much easier. Oh, what the heck? All right, yeah, we're just going to go... People around. Just go, uh, go ahead and just grind this down. There we you go. Perfect. All right, cool. I got the iron. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell. Sell for iron, mm -hmm. dude. All right. All right. I'm opening my, uh, my crate here. 13, 16, 18, 21. Okay. Time to see uh, what we get. You guys opening yours? Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. It scrolled past, like, what is it? Like, the ultimate, like, loot for it? Oh, my God. Okay, I got a unique enchant book. Two unique enchant books. I oh, got, I got like, another one. I got another oh one. Oh, my God. You lucky son. Oh, my God. Wait, another... <laughs> Wait, you got another golem? Yeah. Spawn it in. Just... Oh, uh, right here, right here. Right there. If I place this wrong, I swear. There, we're good. <laughs> what the heck? How'd you get another one? What the hell? All right. Let's go ahead and uh, grind this down real quick. Looks like we're opening another chest today. What is the we luck, though, that you got another one, dude? What the hell? <laughs> All right, let's gonna go ahead and uh, should be able to do this here. It's at two hearts, one heart, and it's dead. Perfect. All right, we're gonna do different numbers this time. We're gonna open 12, let's see, 24, 27, and uh, 20. All right, let's give me something good. Come on, come on, some nice, some nice. Oh my God, yo, I got a legendary loot in here. Okay, Ender Pearl. 
crappy thing unique book and I got Oh, what the how is it? Yo, look at this. This was in the legendary loot. That, that's the legendary loot <laughs> What the heck? Really oh dude? Are you serious? I get so hyped because it says legend. Oh my god. Wait, are we in the wilderness right now? Uh, no, we're at an envoy like what? Well, oh my the, god. Uh, Damn it. Did we really miss this? Six Kinda, seconds? Yeah. Six seconds? Six seconds, dude. I'm just gonna fly down and see what happens. Anything? You can always go to a swamp because we own the whole entire south side of it. Oh, really? So. Yeah. Ah, uh, we missed it, dude. <laughs> we missed it. I wasn't, I wasn't like, I wasn't paying attention. Well, what the heck? There's just, uh, there's just golems roaming around. I'm gonna go ahead and open three of these unique enchantment books that I got then. What the heck, dude? Let's see. Oh, nice, dude. Calification, dude. That's lit, dude. Yo, I got a Berserk 4. Um, yeah, but Berserk isn't that good because a drunk it does that thing. Well, it, it's good if you don't have uh, drunk, right? Yeah, I plan to have a Berserk 5 right now. I'm just going around and geek it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, you know what? I got a Calification. You know, that's not good, but it, it looks cool, you know? Should I just tinker this? 96% Calification 2? Probably. All right, I'll go ahead and tinker this real quick. Tinker that. Uh, yep, put that that's right funny. there. Got that mystery dust! Yay! Nothing good. Oh my God! Wait, on Immortal Three for a uh, wait for a mill? Wait, should I buy that? Is that still there? Mm, Immortal Three is not exactly that good because it just protects the durability when you could just do slash fix. Oh, okay. And it wastes so many souls, honestly. Oh, does it? Oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, you also have a uh, what should we call it? The like a soul book as well. Yo, that wait, that's 10k XP. Yeah, no, that. never mind. Okay. But where is it at? I Alrighty. It well, we dropped those. We dropped the golem. You know, we we got some. Got, got a quick little boss battle in there. So GG. Thank you both of you guys because you both provided a golem just now. So uh, GG. That was so lucky. I know, dude. That was actually really lucky. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. All right, guys. So since I don't have um, actual like levels today, what I'm gonna do is instead I'm gonna go ahead and just try to use the books on my armor sets right here. So I have a Shackle Three book that I unboxed yesterday, which has a 55% success rate. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of throw. I'm gonna buff it up real quick with all of uh, this. So I got it up to a 64% now, and I'm gonna go ahead and check up on my. Let's see, on my dust. See if I have any more ultimate dust. I'm gonna try to throw it here. On uh, Ariana grind day guys because I want to get shackle 3 on this uh, on this grinding sword because that would be that would be pretty cool guys and I have a random elite enchantment book I don't even remember getting this reforged 2 now let me just go ahead and scroll through some of my oh wow I have a 4% as well and uh, some more right here see so guys you know like sometimes I just I just have random random deaths laying around but that works out in my favor just perfectly so I'm gonna go ahead and toss this 4%, toss both of these 1%, and then I'm gonna also YOLO a couple of other, like, uh, YOLO a couple of other, like, random books here. But what I wanna try to do, guys, is I wanna make sure that this is, like, a really good Shackle 3, so some of my really bad, like, I guess, like, ultimate gear that I don't really want, I'll probably try to just go ahead and tinker that. Something, uh, probably stuff that I don't really need. I'll, I'll go ahead and tinker it that way. I have a percentage, like a higher chance of actually getting, what's the word for it? More ultimate dust. So go ahead, gonna go ahead and tinker these three. I feel like, I don't know why, I just had a very eerie feeling that I, that I lost something good there. I don't really know though. And of course, guys, I got nothing, nothing good out of that. Yay! Demon Forge 1, I can definitely tinker that. Silence 2, I'll tinker that as well. Come on, guys. Come on. Give me some dust. Okay, that is 5% dust. That's good. That's good. Okay, 75%, guys. I'm willing to test my luck on this. Shackle 3, Ariana Grande is already protected. We're going to try this, guys. Yes, we got Shackle 3. Perfect. It worked, guys. We got, we got Shackle 3 on our sword, and it did not break that. Now, what I want to do, guys, is I'm actually planning... On, I heard that 100% kill aura 5 actually goes for up to like like 10 million dollars or something like that. So I might go ahead and buff up my like my kill aura book. It might be might be a good idea. Not too sure, but right now it's a 91%. So pretty high chance, guys. Like extremely high chance actually. So <laughs> that's something that I definitely will be looking into. 
Now what I gotta do, I'm gonna go ahead and YOLO some of these. Oh, dude. That arrow lifesteal, I really want it on this bow. Because if I could, if I could upgrade the bow and then add piercing five. Damn, I wanna add a white scroll. Is there a white scroll on AH right now? Is, let me see, wait, is drop here? Oh no, drop locked offline, guys. He had, he had a couple of white scrolls that he could have given me. Damn, I should have hit him up right before he locked off. That was, uh, that was my mistake. Looks like there's no white scrolls on here, so it looks like I'll be YOLOing the enchants on another bow of mine. So let's see, I have a bow in PV1? What about PV2? Where do I keep all my weapons, guys? Don't even, I don't even know. Should have it somewhere, 13. Is there a bow right here? Nope. What the heck? Okay, I'm actually getting a little frustrated here. Okay. <laughs> so there's, you know, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and kick Cactus King real quick. That way I can get a uh, bow from this uh, from this whole thing and some levels from it as well. Okay, first up, we're gonna YOLO the Arrow Lifesteal 10. Just didn't work. Piercing 5. We got Piercing 5 on this, so that works out just fine. Piercing 5 on this, uh, Reforged. Don't really need that. Let's see. Where are there any other books that I actually want to actually use? This uh, Gears 3 right here, these two, since they're maxed out, you guys suggested that I just YOLO it on uh, some items. So I will probably be doing that, and then this, well, this Wither thing, I'll probably just put it on here to use for a secondary set. This one already has Gears 2 on it. Let's see, uh, it's bad, everything else, though. I'm going to go ahead and try this. Didn't work on it. I need a new pair of boots. We're going to try the lower percentage ones right now. Let's see. Throw that and try this. Didn't work. All right. Well, you know what? I feel like that was a little bit uh, too much to hope for right there. But we're going to have this Wither 4 maybe for a secondary god set in the future. Don't necessarily need it uh, right at this moment. Now, let me just go ahead and uh, check out our PV9 real quick. See if there's anything else that we want to throw on our armor sets. Because some of this stuff right here, I might not even need, to be quite honest with you guys. <clears throat> Let's see. I saw an obsidian shield in here. 91%. I'm going to throw that on a normal pair of pants. Or, I guess, a pair of pants. Oh, that might be a little risky. This is an E3 on it. You know what? I'm going to risk it. There we go. Cool. We got obby shield on these on this uh, pants right here. What else? What else? Let's see. Obby destroyer. Blessed. Devour 4. Bleed. Hmm. Trying to decide what's the best move for me here, guys. I'm just like I'm just going through, kind of upgrading uh, all of my all of my armor right now. Really? Okay, that did not uh, that didn't work out like I planned. PV9, and then yeah. So we're just gonna leave this, guys. We're gonna leave that for the future, and then try to get a hundred percent kill aura five book. But there we go. We tested our luck. You know, not too bad. We did get the shackle three without breaking this. So now we have shackle three on our sword. Let me go ahead and. Head to our home. Oh, of course. Of course he's grinding right now. Damn it. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's see if someone's grinding at the uh, at the other grinder right now. TP over here. Let's see. Is someone grinding right now? It looks like they aren't. I'm gonna go ahead and enter, enter Pearl out. Wait for Blazes to spawn down here. And then we'll go ahead and grind this. That Rage 5 right there. Ew, that is. It's kind of uh, low percentages. So, Shackle 3 with the grinding. Not too bad. That's going to conclude today's episode of the Minecraft Factions Let's Play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Leave a like if you guys did. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.